Hello and welcome to JG3 Reviews. This week we are looking at student pens, but student pens are not just for students. You may be a student in elementary or junior high, middle school, high school, university, whatever, or myself doing continuing education all the time here lately. Uh, you can still use a pen. I do a lot of notes, pages of notes, like running out of ink and pens in a single morning kind of notes. and. Uh, a lot of these student pens actually are, are great, uh, regardless of age and use. So, today I'm going to share one with you that is new to me. I just got this a couple of weeks ago after ordering it way back at the very beginning of the summer um, as a viewer recommendation. One of the viewers emailed me and said, hey, I, I use these pens all the time. They're nice and light to write with and write very well. You ought to check them out. So, I did. I just didn't think it would take months for it to arrive. but Corona, right? The old Rona interrupting our pen supply. So this is the, I hope I'm saying this right, the Shui Yao fountain pen. It's a student pen with a nice little smiley face there on the front of the pen. I have no idea if I'm showing you that or not. We'll see that during the design anyway. Uh, but this has actually been a surprisingly good pen. I'm going to give that away at the very beginning. So stay tuned and we're going to look at the design, things I like and don't like. We'll look at how it writes, particularly on paper that a lot of students have to use in school, in particular the notebook that my middle school daughter is required to use every day and see how it works on cheap paper. So let's flip the camera and take a closer look at the Shui Yao student smiley face happy pin. All right, so this is the the Shui Yao uh, student pen, which a lot like that Pilot Kakuno has the smiley face theme, although it's a different smiley face and in a completely different place. Now my daughter, who is a middle school student, uh, one of my daughters, uh, she likes fountain pens, but she can be, honestly, a little bit picky. And she is not that thrilled with the design of the cap of this pen. It's just something about it she doesn't like. It reminds me of a little bit of Lego people because of the, the flat top and the, and the face, and it's about that same size. Uh, but really strong plastic. Let me say, one of the criteria of these pens is that they be durable, and I do believe that this pen is going to be quite durable, and it's even available in a, uh, I think it's aluminum, in metal, so you can even go beyond the ABS plastic. But so far, I've been impressed with the quality of materials of this pen, and uh, I think it's going to be quite durable. Um, it has the logo, which you can see the, the two birds there, and Shui Yao, and the smiley face, and it has uh, the hexagonal shape familiar to a lot of, a lot of pens. But you, and you can see the thickness of the plastic there. That's why I think the durability is going to be quite good, and it, it feels like good material. So let's look at the rest of the pen. Let's look at the working part of the pen. So this is the demonstrator version, and that's what I wanted. Uh, it does come in several different colors, and it does come, again, in metal. But I, I really like the demonstrator version of this pen. The nib, if I can get my camera to focus, which, hmm, maybe not. There we go. The nib is just a nicely decorated standard steel nib. Uh, reminds me of a pilot style nib and feed. And of course you can see the fins of the feed inside the section here. The section is just a simple round cylindrical section. I'll put the measurements up here so that you can get an idea of the thickness of the pen. Very comfortable. It's a well balanced pen. It's a comfortable pen. And uh, as I said, seems to be quite well made. This, this pen for me is a bit of a surprise. Not too surprised because the, uh, the watcher of this channel who shared with it uh, had really high praise for the pen. And uh, most of the time when I have a viewer give me a recommendation, uh, their, their recommendations pan out, so I do listen to those things. I can't always get every pen that's recommended, but uh, I do try to check them out if I can. It does come with a converter, and I'm going to put up here what size of converter and cartridge this uses. It, says Shui, it has Shui Yao, the name of the company, on uh, etched on the converter metal there. But, you know, a, a good standard Chinese quality converter, which I ha generally have good luck with. I've, I've only had one, I think, in all the pins that I've got that just was a dud. So 
that all has been working just fine. I've had zero issues with this pen, no leaks, no hard starts, nothing. It has been quite reliable. Uh, I think this would actually be a great candidate for an eyedropper, although uh, because of the inability to refill an eyedropper in the middle of a class, as a student pen, that wouldn't be my recommendation, but just for writers in general, I think this would make a great eyedropper in the plastic demonstrator version. And it just for me, it's a simple design. There's not a lot to describe here. You can see most of what you need to know about it, but I have found this to be a really good pen, and we'll see that here in the writing test. Okay, let's see how this pen writes. Uh, it does, I don't think I mentioned this earlier, it does post securely, which I think is a requirement. Wow, so securely I almost didn't get it off. That is a requirement to me for a student pen because you need not to lose that cap or have it rolling across uh, the lecture hall or the classroom or the desk from your online class, whatever. Okay, this is the Shui Yao. hope I'm saying that right. I really have no idea. And uh, this is a fine pilot style nib. Really good. I, I like it. It's, it's really a smooth writer. And this is, what did I put in this? This is a diamine for those in America, a diamine for those across the pond. And this is the Oxford Blue. I remember now I put Oxford Blue in it because it's back to school. So there you go this ink. This isn't an ink review, but I really like this ink. It's a nice dark blue. Okay. I'm going to be quiet and let you listen. Okay. Now, the thing is, my microphone is close, so you may... I'm guessing. You may hear a lot of feedback. There's really not a lot of feedback. I would say it's right on par with a pilot uh, pen in terms of that feedback and sound. It really, I just wrote, I uh, filmed these back to back, the Pilot Kakuno and this pen, and they write really similarly. I, I think if I had my eyes closed, only the difference in the shape of their grips would I know which pen was in my hand. Uh, very, very similar that way. Uh, this is a, a different kind of, of acrylic. It's not the same kind of plastic as, as the uh, Kakuno. Um, it does seem to be very well made. It seems like really good material. We'll see in the long run how that holds up, but I have really good expectations. I had to destroy a pen similar to this uh, not too long. I really should have made a video of it. I had a seller on eBay uh, tell me he was selling me one pen and then he sent another. And when I contacted him, he did not want to give me a refund or he didn't, he didn't deny that he was pulling a fast one because it was not an accidental swap out uh, or anything like that. And uh, he made me destroy the pen in order for me to get the refund. What I found out was that while the pen was complete trash, it was no good uh, and a really bad knockoff of the pen that I was supposed to be getting. The plastic it was made from, man, they could make like motorcycle helmets out of that stuff. So <laughs> I had a hard time breaking that thing apart. Anyway, I did get it done, uh, a vice and hammer later. Anyway, I, this one is an even thicker and feels even stronger plastic than that pen. So I would have high expectations for that. Uh, really nice pen. I, I like the, the way that it writes. Let's do this and get you a little bit of a, yeah. So that's a, to me, that's a nice balanced wetness. Not too much, but not so dry. Uh, and it has kept up with everything I've done. I have written pages and pages of, of handwritten notes in classes with this pen, and I have been extremely pleased. So I would recommend this pen. I think it's good for the money that you're paying. Uh, be aware that you may have a long wait right now to get it from China. I had to get mine from China from eBay. Uh, so be aware of that wait. Uh, you're not going to have that weight with, say, the Pilot Kakuno or the Platinum Preppy. So there is that downside. But the viewer who recommended this pen did a good thing. This is excellent. Like I have really enjoyed it. And here's it's so good that 
I actually am losing this pen. My older daughter wrote with this pen the other day. She fell in love with the smiley face and the cat. My younger daughter doesn't like the smiley face and the cat, but my older daughter does. And I have promised her this pen as soon as this review is over. You will notice some ink in the cap, and that is totally me. While I was moving from one setup to another during this review, I dropped this pen on a very hard floor. No damage to the pen, only a little bit of ink in the cap, but that's that's a James problem. That's not a Shui Yao problem. So great pen, highly recommended actually. Uh, and that recommendation comes from a viewer as well. Excellent, excellent student pen. And uh, yeah, I would, I would definitely do that. God bless you, have a great week and keep, keep watching. I've got more student pens on the way.